So the DJI Osmo Action 4, well, I'm filming on it right now, and it's also the camera that I brought out here to Vegas to get a lot of really cool e-skate shots, which you'll see on some upcoming videos. But they do have a firmware update, and when I read it out, I was like, eh, that's not really much of an update. But then after really looking into it, it actually is. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. And if you're new here, uh, you can click that button right there and don't be a stranger. And yes, on this channel, I do firmware update videos from time to time if there's a significant update. And always it's kind of fun to test out the new software update against what they say they fixed and see if it actually has fixed. One thing that's important to note is that I have done the firmware update for this talking part of this, but I will show some comparison footage. And also, yes, I'm in Las Vegas. But here's the update. They've optimized processing algorithm to significantly upgrade the image quality when recording at 30 frames per second or lower. So 30, 25, 24. And here's a side by side of before and after. So you can kind of see that they actually have made a difference in the image quality. It's a little bit more sharp. It has a little bit better contrast too. Sometimes like when you see like the lines, you can see the lines on the ground a little bit better. And as you're watching it, let me know what your thoughts are. Does it look better to you? Because as I'm looking at the side by side, it looks a lot better to me. Now with this camera, typically I'd shoot at 4K 60. So it's never really been an issue because uh, you know, I'm shooting like skateboard footage or scooter footage and it's kind of high pace. So I like to be able to slow it down with 60 frames per second. But uh, it's kind of nice to know that the image is better on 30 frames per second because there's sometimes you'd rather have it there like if it's low light or if you don't really need it to be like these talking headshots, I don't need it to be at 60 frames per second. So, I mean, the fact that it's a better image, uh, that's, that's great. Another notable update is uh, we got the DJI Mic 2 transmitter on the last one, but they've optimized the recording gain for it to sound better right out of the camera. This is what the mic sounds like pre-update. So you can hear I haven't changed anything. I haven't done anything in post. This is just straight to the camera and straight into the editing. So this is beforehand and then let's uh, try it with the update. This is what it sounds like after the update. So I just updated the microphone and you can hear what it sounds like. I haven't changed anything as well. So you can see if there's a significant difference in the sound there. Um, obviously, I'll be editing this so I don't actually know, but um, future Danny will know. And another interesting tidbit about the mic is they now added a sleep mode. So basically, if you are not connected to your camera or you're not internally recording, after 15 minutes, it'll automatically shut off, which will save you battery. Because sometimes you'll forget to power this thing off and it'll just sit in your bag and the battery will die. So it's kind of nice to have that feature. Do you want me to take a photo? Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Hey, you're with me. No, guys. Separate hour. Oh, you want to do something? <laughs> Vegas. So those are some great updates. And this was a quick video because I have a lot of other videos to get to on this channel. But I like to highlight these update videos because sometimes, you know, you guys are wondering what it is without having to go into, you know, too much work yourselves. And if it was helpful, if you can click that like button right there, that'd be awesome. And also might even give me some luck to uh, win some money out here. But uh, still love using the DJI Osmo Action 4. It's a great camera. And uh, stay tuned to the channel. Got a lot of other really cool gear to share with you and some cool scooters and skateboards here in Vegas. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye. Can we call you Uncle Blackie? No.